Hey guys, welcome back to new video. In the previous video, we discussed about uh, the Schrodinger concept about the atom, the nodal plane which he got discovered. And in today's video, we'll be discussing about the quantum numbers. So, if you haven't checked that out videos, uh, we are running a series of uh, the complete atom concept. So, if you haven't checked those out, uh, you need to check them so that you can understand the story behind that atom we just started from uh, you know the idea of atom until now we are uh, into the orbitals the sub and sub part uh, sub part sub parts of the atom today we're looking into a new topic that is quantum numbers so uh, what are quantum numbers uh, quantum numbers are uh, you know uh, they are the numbers or we can say the values that determine the position of an electron in an atom what are quantum numbers these are some sort of numbers that determine the value of the electron uh, you know the value these are values that determine the position of an electron and atom like where it is on what axis this is or what value it is how strong it is what is the energy uh, all these are you know we have got four different quantum numbers and each is giving a new sort of information about the atom so in the very first we have got the principal quantum number number right so this is kind of a very simple and basic uh, this is you can say that just the revision of whole which you have studied uh, the principal quantum number tells us about tells us about orbits right so we have learned this thing with how orbits concept it came and this is just showing that uh, orbits it is just showing orbits represented by uh, n small n we are represented by small n uh, like if we have got uh, I'm not telling you much about uh, these uh, orbits because we have did a complete series on it uh, this is just showing us uh, the electrons in the orbit so we have got n n is giving uh, value like n is if n is n can be 1 n can be 2 3 4 right we are taking till 4 uh, they are going so on like this 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 so if 1 2 3 and four here we have got like a uh, one is k this is l this is m these are the orbits right we have learned it uh, so this is k l m n so uh, these quantum numbers shows that there's something like orbitals existing and these are like k l m n and we are numbering them by n like if n is equal to 1 that is k and uh, this quantum shows basically the number of electron uh, in uh, the uh, you know in the orbits like how many uh, electrons we have got in l shell so we have uh, this quantum number showed us the formula for this this showed us a formula for this like you can calculate the electron in the orbit using this formula like if we put n is equal to uh, k if you are taking k shell so k the n would be 1 so we have got 1 square like here we have got k and k uh, 1 square and this would be equal to 2 hence we get to know that th there would be first orbit there will be two electrons k2 I will be drawing a structure over here to understand you guys there would be two right this is uh, kind of 
nucleus first orbit k this is how it works now i have made simple for you and we have got l so l would be like this 2n square 2 2 square 2 square is equal to 4 and 4 into 2 is equal to 8 8 and l would be equal to 8 Uh, like this is the we are studying from uh, our you know childhood that is this is the real concept behind it that how we did this right so if you talk about KLM so M would be like this 2 and 3 3 square 3 square is 9 9 to the 18 uh, m18 and i'm doing you giving you a homework to find out the orbital n so i'm telling you the answer it would be n32 but you need to solve it by your own that is your kind of assignment and that is quite a simple assignment uh, we've got m18 m18 and here we have got n n is equal to 32 this is how it works uh, meet you guys in the next video till that goodbye